Hey everybody, this is Will over at MCG Tech Talk, and today I want to talk about these things. These are the Sadie's A8 gaming headphones. This offers 7.1 surround sound virtually. Uh, it's it's a pretty neat, nifty little headset. It's okay. Um, I'm going to save for how much I purchased it for a little later. Uh, but I've kind of started the need a new set of headphones because my current ones, one of the ears start to go out and you know, I, I saw this. this. This was actually about 30 bucks and I was like oh! One click purchase, get it going. Because, meh, let's let's find out how well these work. I actually am using a 3.5 millimeter plug that goes into my speakers and that's how I get my sound. This one is not that. This one is USB. And it comes with about a seven foot long cable. Um, one thing that I noticed when I took it out of the box is the packaging leaves a lot to be desired. It's very Chinese. Something that you this is something you'd purchase off of Alibaba and uh, with the Geek app. This does not come with Windows 10 drivers, so it worked. Everything worked, but to actually get all the fancy bells and whistles I had to down find find the website, download the drivers, and then install the drivers and then it worked. This just straight up, even with uh, compatibility settings and things like that, I just want to find it. Plus it's a mini it's a mini C D. These things get stuck in drives all the time. But I know since this thing was thirty bucks shipped that they're gonna cut somewhere and packaging is one of them. Um so when I went to their website and started to find the drivers, which is not a very good website, once I did find the drivers, I started downloading the 25.7 meg driver, and it took 45 minutes to download. I, I, I feel like this was this was like in some guy's basement on some sort of Vista computer in China. Like it would probably, it, it start, I started to feel like it would have been quicker just to have them mail it to me. Uh, but that's the only way. If you're on Windows 10, you're gonna have you're gonna have to go to the website and get the drivers. Um, if if for some reason you're watching this and you you decide to get them and you'd like the drivers, it'd be quicker just to send me a message and I'll just Dropbox them to you or something like that. Um, another thing, the volume the volume dialer on here was off and it just it just kind of like fell out of the packaging. This isn't this is not on there very well. It's not on there at all. That's it's not gonna fall off, but it, it can pop off pretty easily. There's there's little rubber feet, so when you put it on your on your desk, it's not gonna be too much movement. One thing that I like is this this the style. This this is here. It kind of can get annoying. You put it you you do want to put it near your near the actual USB port. So that way it doesn't like flop around and get in your way and stuff like that. The headphones themselves are not bad. Put them on, they're super comfy. And the little side panels glow with orange. I actually kind of like the orange. It's not too bright, it's not too dark. Uh, it doesn't seem to be really easy to, sh to shut them off though. Uh, the only real buttons you have are the vibration speakers, which is or the vibration, which is off, sort of full, and that just that's how much it'll boom, boom in the bass. The other one is to be able to turn the mic on and off. There are a lot. There, there's like they have dozens of different variations of these things. So uh, if if I had to purchase it again, I probably wouldn't have gotten this one just because of the, the mic. Even though the mic can get moved out of the way. Some of their other ones slide up and just click click in, and that's that's what I would have purchased. But thirty bucks shipped. Let's roll. Go. It is it is okay. Um, they never got too loud, so even when I maxed this out, maxed whatever I was listening to, and maxed Windows out, uh, it never felt. I never I never like it was it was never too much. Um, one thing I would have liked would be able to go too loud. That way I can dial it back a little bit and get to where I'm comfortable with. Or if I wanted to listen to some mobile, I'd turn that all the way up. Blow out my eardrums. Um, there is a lot of noi noise that comes out of these things. Even when they're on your head. 
when you when you're listening to them at full volume with everything turned up, you can you can hear them. You somebody else if you're if you're using these headphones to try to stay quiet because maybe a significant other of yours is sleeping or a baby or something like this, it might not be the best idea because they will hear it. Oh my gosh. Gunshot space, stuff like that. It's it's really noticeable. Um the the packaging not the packaging uh, the the descriptions with in the Amazon store let me find it uh, a little silly a little very very Chinese you can tell that there was some translation issues because it has protein earmuffs which I I found was kind of silly but. Another thing that they offer on the bottom is a little a little tiny jack, so that way you could actually plug in regular hair headphones. And what did they call it? They called it the share for lover function. So if you want to share your share your what you're listening to with your lover, or you know someone someone's not your lover, they probably could have came up with a better better term for that functionality. They can plug that in. If, if you have another one of these, they can't plug this into that, and then. You know, Daisy chain it out. Um, it's it's a good it's a good headset, but I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to really use this at home, especially if the baby's trying to sleep, or I'm staying up super late and watching YouTube videos because if I start playing this kind of loud, it, it everybody's gonna hear it. So, but for thirty bucks, if you want a game for something or if you want to give this to somebody as a present, these these things are these things are really good, especially. If, for for the cost like I'm, I'm i'm really surprised on how well they sound and the, the vibration the vibration features when it when it, the bass is going on is super nice um the cord could have been a little longer but that's probably a personal preference because i gotta snake up and around to be able to do some sort of cable management with these it's just i'd have to get an extension cable but Overall, I mean, uh, if you if you're if you don't have to worry about other people listening in to what's coming out of these speakers, it's it's a good buy. I guess I guess another downplay is if you are in a professional environment, the orange glowing earbuds, as you're trying to talk to customer service or something like that, or taking VoIP phone calls, might might not be the most professional. Um, I, I I do like them though; they're they're not bad. Uh, this this little this little springy point's kind of cool. Where it goes, where it can like mesh in with your head and actually squish down feels real good. You can't go wrong with thirty dollar headphones that do put out this kind of bass, though. So, uh, yeah, share for lovers. Protein earmuffs, thirty bucks. Like it.